What's up guys and welcome back to another Signature Sports Media video today. I'm excited. We have a new mystery box on the channel. It's the 502 Frank Fire Mystery Box. Let's go! So if you guys don't know who 502 Frank is, he has his own YouTube channel. Um, he actually just hit 10,000 subscribers, which is a super awesome achievement. So that's awesome for him. Congrats to him. Um, but he does sell his own mystery boxes, and this happens to be um, the ones that he just sent out um, for football. And they go for $220 a box, so it's definitely a higher-end mystery box. But as you guys know, you've seen me open ones for baseball, and I love a good mystery box. So I had to get this one. What I do know is in there is a graded card, which is pretty cool. You don't really see those in mystery boxes unless if it's like the chase card. But anyway, there is, and it's all PSA 10s, and I think there actually is one BGS 9, but most likely we're gonna see a PSA 10, and then along with um, some retail and hobby football packs. So yeah, without further ado, oh, and there's some raw cards, raw cards in there as well, which is also a pretty cool addition. So we'll see what how the value is. I saw a couple of his preview cards for the graded cards, and they looked pretty awesome. Like, one of them was a CD Lamb uh, rookie. So, as you guys know, wouldn't mind pulling that one. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and see what's in here. I'm not sure how it's packaged, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see the graded card or not. So, let's see. And Okay, it doesn't look like it's in a package or anything. So, what I'm going to do is, so I don't spoil the graded card, I'm going to put this to the side for one second and take the packs out, and then we'll show the graded card at the end. All right, so I got the graded card off to the side now. We're going to go ahead and show that at the end because that's like the hit of the box. But I'm going to want to start off with these raw cards, and we'll see what the raw cards are, and then we'll go into the retail packs, hobby packs, and then we'll go get to the graded card. Um, but these are the raw cards. It looks like there's four, and it looks like most of them are actually mosaic, which is cool. Um, but the first one is Tony Brown from Colorado. It's an auto. It's his rookie card from Contenders. I'm not sure where he got drafted to or who this is, but it is an autograph. So he turns out to be good to be a nice hit. And then we got a LaVisca Chenault pink for the Jacksonville Jaguars. He's not having a bad year. So I'll definitely take the pink. And then Drew Brees silver mosaic, a will to win. That's another not bad one right there. So you can see here, and Antonio Gibson pink. So you can see here that the raw cards actually aren't too bad. You know, they're free. You know, got three colored mosaics and then an auto. So not bad at all start. Um, the packs we get are a cello, a mosaic, and a fat pack of absolute, and then three hobby packs, one absolute, one phoenix, and round it off with a mosaic no huddle. So... You know, those no huddle boxes are expensive. Absolute boxes go for like 250 range, and so does Phoenix. So, you know, it is expensive for him. The packs are expensive packs. So for 220 with the four raw cards, the packs, and the graded card, definitely not a bad value at all. Uh, but obviously we can't control what comes out of the packs, but let's just see what's in here. So this is fat pack for Absolute. I'm not sure if you can hit a kaboom out of these fat packs. Would be super cool if we could. More chance of probably hitting it out of the hobby, though. But we'll just take a cool auto. We'll see, though. Uh, let's see. Debo, Saquon, Edelman, Green, Thielen, Green, Le'Veon. And our rookie green is going to be KJ Osborne of the Vikings. Drew Brees, Stargazing. There you go. Justin Herbert, Introductions. Not bad. Jerry Judy rookie card. CD Lamb, that's my guy. Nice rookie there. KJ Hamler, Mims, who just played his first game. Quez Watkins, Jake Luden, who's probably starting his first game this weekend. AJ Terrell, and John Hightower, the fourth. All right, so we saw Herbert uh, insert Judy and CD. So not a bad pack at all from Absolute, but Mosaic definitely gets me way more excited. There could be some monsters in the solo. Maybe we'll see a nice burrow pink, or if we get lucky, we somehow get a Genesis. I know Frank has hit a couple Genesises himself, so or 502 Frank, I should say, has hit a couple uh, of Genesis himself, so maybe he's got the hot packs to send out to the guys who got his mystery box. Only got a green in here. 
but we'll see what we got. Hicks, Lindsey, Carson Wentz, Green Adams, Le'Veon Bell, and a Joe Burrow Bay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get into the second pack. Can we get a Burrow and a Genesis? That'd be awesome. Let's see. Nope, just the silver. So we got Singletary, Boomer, DK Base, McCordy, and a silver Wildwin Lamar. So that's not a bad one either. I'll take that. And then Keyshawn Vaughn, Rookie. All right. And our pinks. So is it a Burrow pack? Can we get a Burrow pink too? That'd be wild. All right. We got Aaron Jones, who has been hurt. Killing my fantasy team. Hopefully he comes back. Derrick Henry, one of the best running backs in the league. And then uh, Zach Moss, pink rookie card. So that was a running back pack right there. Three running backs. All right. We're going to get into high packs now. We're going to go for absolute. Or actually, maybe this is not a hobby pack. This might, because there's too many cards for it to be a hobby pack. This might be just a regular retail pack. Uh, Minshew Brown, like from a Mega or something. There is a patch in here. Cam Akers. Not bad at all. Josh Allen Red Zone. Chase Young, another good one. Asi Asi and Raekwon Davis. Yes, yeah, so I think that might have just been a regular Mega Box pack. Because there was too many cards in there for it to be um, a hobby a hobby pack. Not entirely sure on that one, though. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Because these are definitely hobby packs. We got Phoenix and Mosaic. Really looking forward to getting that no huddle open. Hopefully we hit one of the discos. Maybe the auto, too. Who knows? And there's something very thick in here. So that's a good start. Unless if it's just a filler, that would be a bummer. DK base, AJ Brown. Ooh, this is cool. And it's just a filler. Shoot. <laughs> uh, it's out of 149. It's a purple Van Jefferson. So not bad. Man, these Phoenix colors cards are sweet. Might not be as valuable as Mosaic or Prism when it comes out. But man, these cards are very cool looking. They should they should have more demand than they actually do in a flamethrowers Herbert. And Logan Wilson. Definitely my favorite card of the day so far is this Flamethrowers Herbert, along with that Joe Burrow base mosaic. Um, but we'll leave that there for now. Let's see. And it doesn't look like we got any of the disco cards either. But that's okay. Let's see if we get a good rookie. Cook, Chancellor, Cook, Darius Leonard, Deion Sanders. AJ Green Montage. These Montage cards are cool. And we hit another Joe Burrow. Let's go. We got the debut Joe Burrow now. And my guy CD Lamb. Wow. So definitely strong finish there. They are just base cards, but I'm still happy with it. This is our quick recap of the 502 Frank Mystery Pack of the packs openings. And then we will get into that graded card. But... Van Jefferson Purple out of Phoenix. Flamethrowers out of Phoenix also for Justin Herbert. Very cool. CD Base and Joe Burrow NFL debut came out of the No Huddle Hobby. This came out of our solo the Joe Burrow Base. Two Joe Burrows, CD, the two Herberts, along with the Derrick Henry Pink, Lamar Mo Silver Mosaic, Zach Moss Pink, and the Cam Makers Patch. And then uh, all those raw cards we got and all the other card rookie cards I didn't show. And this is going to be our hit of the pack of the mystery box we got the 2019 panini chronicles marquise brown vertex gem mint 10. so marquise brown obviously that's the back right there rookie from last year you know definitely had a much better season last year than he is having right now i believe um i think he's been dealing with injuries too i'm not entirely sure i do know this past weekend though he only had one catch for like three yards and it was a touchdown Ended up killing me in fantasy because I played against him, but I don't know. I don't know how much this card goes for. I'm not too familiar with the Vertex prices, but it is a Marquise Brown rookie. I mean, it's got to be, what, 40, 50 bucks at least. I would say I'm not the best with value. 502 Frank did say that, you know, half of the box value is going to come back in most of the graded cards, so 
I think I got one of the lower end ones, so definitely don't judge this one based off his boxes. But, you know, it's still a good card. And, you know, if Marquise Brown ends up being a stud, this will definitely appreciate over time. So I'm happy with it. Um, I can't really complain, too, because I did pull the two burrows, which they both look pretty clean. So if they grade well, that'll definitely make up a significant of the 220 value, along with the C.D. Lamb and the Lamar and the Herberts. I think I did fairly well. Um, let me know what you guys think of this mystery pack. Let me know what you guys think about the pricing. Um, if you think it's too much for what you get, if you think it's too little for what you get, what you just think of the pack selection and the graded card idea, let me know. Um, it was definitely fun opening it though. I love any type of mystery box to get my hand on. Um, and check out his channel too. He just hit 10 10 K subscribers so go check him out and go congratulate him. But yeah, other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot and I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video later.